the uh, the construction of the building it was built in uh, 1900 originally uh, some of the older people in town remember that there was a, uh, a second story and a third story on this that was then taken off been a, a lot of renovations over the years the building's about a uh, little over 13,000 square feet uh, very cut up uh, that was one of the problems when we made it into the basement uh, we were running into different walls uh, stuff and we could never really find the seat of the fire so the decision was made to uh, to pull everybody out uh, subsequently the roof started to collapse uh, and once that it's a rubber membrane roof once that collapsed then we had fire that's up underneath that so um, eventually uh, once we get most of it knocked down we're gonna have to start taking the building apart Could you tell what, what is causing so much smoke I mean, this is really it's been going on and on and on and it seems like you can't Stubborn. There's a lot, you know. There's a lot of different businesses in there. We have a print shop in there. We have a Christian Science reading room in there. There's a lot of heavy fire load. Um, unsure. Um, there's a Chinese restaurant in there. So we're unsure what the fire load is. And then the construction of the building itself. That membrane roof um, will uh, will cause uh, all kinds of uh, smoke. So. We were notified at uh, 1:22 this morning. We're unable to determine uh, where in the building it started at this time, you know. No, it's 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 going to be under investigation. I do have the state fire marshal's office on scene. We have an investigator here. Uh, once we're able to uh, to start the investigation, we will. But it's too early to tell where the uh, fire originated. A lot of work and activity around the Chinese restaurant area. It's, I mean the and cooking materials is that it's it's very way too early in, in uh to uh to understand there's uh in these type of older construction buildings there's hidden void spaces the fire could have traveled to that area and that's where it came out um so we're, it's it's too early to tell where uh where it is that's that's where it's concentrated now on the uh the south main street side of the of the fire but as to where it originated and how it started we don't know any reason to believe anything suspicious about it? not at this time it has been, uh, it, you know, it's been a very smoky fire. Um, the prevailing wind has been helping us. It's been in, in one direction, uh, so we've been able to move the companies out of that area. But given the uh, the conditions uh, in the smoke, we had to operate in that. So every company that was on scene um, was operating on air. Those air tanks last about 30 minutes, so we are. Uh, having to uh, rotate a lot of crews back. We have the Massachusetts um, Department of Fire Services here with their rehab unit, uh, and uh, we have an air unit, so we're trying to refill tanks and rotate crews. Uh, the heat has been uh, a, a challenge today, too. That's what, one of the reasons that we went to so many alarms. Do you know how many businesses are affected? Approximately eight. Uh, as far as I know, all the businesses were occupied. Not, uh, not that I'm aware of, but I can't answer that question uh, 100%. Besides the smoke, any tox other toxic materials uh, that you're concerned about that are being released into the air around here? Not at this time. No, we have we have air monitoring going on around the uh, on the building at this time with the uh, Natick Fire Department Safety Officer. He's reporting to me and let me know the conditions outside the building. Um, we haven't had uh, any reports. You mentioned the, the heat was a problem. Yeah, I mean, it's about 80. When I came in, you know, it was roughly, you know, 80, 85 degrees out, you know, with the humidity. And uh, it's going to be a concern now as the sun's coming up. So. Manpower. That's why we struck more alarms, because a lot of these guys were getting beat up quickly, trying to do this work, um, you know, first with the interior crews trying to get in there, uh, and then when we pulled everybody out. Uh, there's just a lot of man. It's a manpower intensive fire. The, uh, we have the Natick Building Commissioner on scene right now, uh, and uh, he's given us the, uh, the go-ahead. We're in contact with the uh, with the property owner. We need to knock the bulk of the fire down, uh, and then to get to it, to uh, fully extinguish it, we are going to need to pull the building apart. Um, I will uh, let Lieutenant uh, Rossi answer that question for you. It was, yes. It's, uh, it's reportedly uh, fine. Yeah.